there's wind in the fort. Oh, that chunky one, you haven't, you soul junkies. Way, way, I go. Swap us to the manacle. Boy, tops will swell. The boys will be Shout the hemp and jiggle the fort. Down or it's down we go. Or it's down or it's down we go. With everything safely aboard the Neverland, final preparations are made on the deck. Call all hands to man the gaps and run the cable down the cone. Feel away and say goodbye, boys, far from England, far from home. A squadron of British Navy seamen dressed in very bright, smart uniforms boards the Neverland. Led by one Lieutenant Gregors, ready to accompany Lord Leonard Astor to Her Majesty's vessel, the Wasp. Captain Scott's compliment to your lordship, but could you join him aboard the Wasp as soon as possible? A moment. Captain Slank? Here, your lordship. I'm taking the Queen's treasure to Rundoon aboard the Wasp, but I leave a more precious cargo here on the Neverland. Make sure you guard her well. Aye, sir. Mrs. Bombake, bring it to me. Please let me come with you. I don't like it on this ship. But you're safer here on the Neverland. By the time you arrive in Rundoon, all have completed their mission, and we can meet together again. Look, Daddy, the ship's coming! Lucky sign! Hey, little puss puss! Molly, careful! Oh, it's all right, Daddy. Him's a sweet little... Oh, Molly just loves all God's little creatures, doesn't she? Daddy, I know you don't need my help in Rundoon, but I've got to start pulling my weight sometime. You're all grown up, aren't you? I am. Courage now, promise? Promise. Oh, dear. Just then, the crater boys burst out. One of the boys almost falls out. Hanging upside down, just above Molly's head. He stares at her. She stares at him. He has an air about him. The look of a boy who doesn't miss much or say much about it. Back in the box, you monkeys! Something about the boy makes Molly feel like she just grew up a little. Daughter, a word. There isn't any treasure in the Queen's trunk. And what is in it has to be destroyed by order of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. God save her! God save her! I'll have to move quickly before the King of Rondoon even knows I'm there. But how are you going to destroy it? Can you keep a secret? I can. We can! <laughs> Sorry? I think you mean... They're speaking in Dodo! A language known only to, uh, well... Dodos. And a handful of very special humans. Dodo. A fat, clumsy bird, hence a Latin name Didus and Eptus. Known for its gritty appetite, slothful pace, and a sense of entitlement, the dodo faced no real competition and was fearless of humans. An eerie mirror of the British Empire at its colonial zenith. Of course, those same traits were responsible for the dodo's downfall. An eerie mirror of the British Empire after its colonial zenith, but thereby hangs another tale. And don't ever take this off or let anyone touch it, Molly. You know it's in this amulet, and you know how to use it if you're ever in trouble. But what if something happens to you? You'll need me on the wasp! That would be too dangerous. I won't have it. Please, Daddy, I want to be part of the mission. You can't be British. You can go no, straight home. No, 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 I promise. Shut the faucet, Molly, blabbering like a whale. When the world's your oyster, be a woman. Yes, Nana. As soon as I'm done in Rundoon, we can spend a few weeks in the Antipodes. Scare up some more bird eggs, hmm? Yes, Daddy. There's my little star catcher. Just an apprentice. If I were a real star catcher, I'd be on the wasp with you. Slank hears that word, star catcher. But then a cannon is fired from the deck of the wasp. Patient starter. Keep a keen eye, Mrs. Bumbrick. Don't you worry, my lord. We'll be British to the bone. Meet again and run Dune. Godspeed. Off you go, your lordship. TTFN. <laughs> Comfy, are we? Oh, that's nice. Where are you, a good-for-nothing bucket of scum? Well, I'm here, sir. Lock these two in the cabin for safekeeping. I'm taking no chances. Now, wait! I don't some... fancy no dainty daughters roaming my deck. Now hop it! With pleasure. The cabin could smell no worse than you. Um, can we keep that kitty with us? Stay clear, the pussy. That cat will rip your hand clean off. <laughs> Just say the word, madam. I might let you out later for a little promenade. Maybe we can do some petting of our own now, eh? Don't trouble yourself, I'm sure. Come along, my girl. Well, don't worry, ma'am. I'll for see safely stowed. Thank you, kind sir. No, thank you, kind lady. The eyes are green as the sea and oh. your hair's just as wavy. Take me below, sir. Lock 
that silly cow in the junior suite. Furrow the jib and let fly the framistan, or you'll curse the day you were born. Now on to Rundoon, lads. There's a profitable trade to be made in Rundoon.